Well, friends, we are at that point where we are going to learn a precious song. Because, you know, everyone's going to judge you. Well, how many songs can you play? You know, people that aren't even guitar players. Well, how many songs can you play? Yeah, I'm learning guitar. Well, how many songs can you play? Well, how many songs can you play? Play me a full song, start to finish. All right, well, the song we're going to do today is a song that's been around for a long time. The song is called Last Kiss, made popular by Pearl Jam in the 90s, but it was actually done by some older artists back in the 50s and 60s. There's four chords in the song, and we're going to start talking a little bit about chord transitions today, too. The first chord is our G. Remember how we nicely muted the A string with it, so the A string wouldn't ring? So now you've practiced this, you've got the chords down, you can consistently pick them nice and clean. So I'm gonna give you the option, you can pick the chord. Or we just do one nice, easy, light strum, and we're gonna use a down strum. Okay? The next chord is an E minor. That beautiful E minor chord that you learned at first. Then it goes to a C. And then a D major chord. Now here, this is where the chord transition comes in because it's one thing to play a chord, but for a beginner, trying to play a song kind of looks like this. Okay, I'm playing, I'm playing. Then we have the awkward pauses trying to get to the next chord. What we want is we want to be able to... We want to be able to jump from chord to chord with ease, with no awkward pauses, but that takes a bit of time. Now we're getting into what are called chord transitions, and this is a great song to jump into this. Very basic way to play this song, guys. You can do four strums, Per chord like this if you want to. Mm -hmm. 